The PTO is selling raffle tickets to raise money for classroom supplies. A raffle ticket costs $5. There is one winning ticket out of the 240 tickets sold. The winner gets a prize worth $98. The first question is, what is the expected value to you of one raffle ticket? Let's answer this question on the next slide. To begin, the expected value is the average gain or loss of an event if the event is repeated many times. We compute the expected value by multiplying each outcome by the probability of that outcome, and then we add the products. Let's begin by determining the probability of winning. Because there is one winning ticket out of 240 tickets sold, the probability of winning is 1 divided by 240, and therefore the probability of losing is 1 minus this value, which is 239 divided by 240. There are 239 losing tickets out of 240 total tickets. And now let's determine the gain or loss of winning. If you win, you win a prize worth $98, but you still have to buy the ticket for $5, and therefore, if you win, the gain is $98 minus the cost of the ticket, which is $5, and therefore the gain is really $93. And then the loss of losing would be the loss of the price of the ticket, which is $5. To indicate the loss, we use negative $5. And now we have the information we need in order to determine the expected value. Again, the expected value is equal to the sum of the products of the outcomes and the corresponding probabilities. Let's consider the first outcome of winning. Again, if you win, you gain $93. So we have $93. And we multiply by the probability of winning, which is 1 divided by 240. And then plus the second outcome is that you lose. If you lose, you lose $5. So the outcome is negative $5 times the probability of losing which is 239 divided by 240. And now we determine the sum of the products using the calculator and round to the nearest cent. So we have 93 times 1 divided by 240 plus negative 5 times 239 divided by 240. And enter. To the nearest cent, we have negative $4.59. So going back to the first slide, the expected value to you of one raffle ticket is negative $4.59, which means you can expect to lose $4.59 for buying one raffle ticket. Next, we're asked to calculate the expected value to you if you purchase 10 raffle tickets. To calculate this, we multiply the expected value of negative $4.59 by 10. So negative $4.59 times 10 is equal to negative $45.90. So if you buy 10 tickets, you can expect to lose $45.90. The next question is, what is the expected value to the PTO of one raffle ticket? Well, if the expected value to you is negative $4.59, indicating you lose this much per ticket, then the PTO is going to gain this amount per ticket or for one raffle ticket. So the expected value to the PTO is positive $4.59 for one raffle ticket because they can expect to gain $4.59 by the sale of one raffle ticket or per raffle ticket. And the last question is, if the PTO sells 240 raffle tickets, how much money can they expect to raise for the classroom supplies? Well, that's going to be the expected value of one raffle ticket times 240. So $4.59 times 240, which is $1,101.60. Again, the positive values represent gains. The negative values represent losses. I hope you found this helpful.